Destiny for sure. We've got ourselves a standard Dragon Warrior randomizer race. Four participants tonight. Choose D instead of the capital W I've been using for Dragon Warrior 2. 8A7D. Okay, looks good for the checksum. Good luck, have fun. One more to ready up, though we'll be starting here very quickly. So I've been watching a few folks play this week, otherwise I haven't played or done any Dragon Warrior randomizer uh, in 20 days, I saw. The last race that I did was on September 8th. Today is September 28th. 20 days, we'll see how rusty I am. Normally I race at least once or twice a week. Here comes Tall Bianca with the resub. Thank you. Nine months. Your, your subscription just gave birth. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome, Bianca. Hope you're having a good evening. We'll be starting the race in just a minute. You like that, Mrs. Destiny? Yeah. Mrs. Destiny likes that one. <laughs> saying we haven't played Dragon Warrior in three weeks. But I, th I think we're I think we're ready to go. Wario! <laughs> it's a me! It's a Dragon Lord! It's a red dragon! Uh-oh. Diabetes is live, but he hasn't readied yet. So he should be coming in just a minute. I'm curious uh, uh, how this is going to go. We have a four player race right now and then tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, uh, we're going to be starting the weekly larger Dragon Warrior races. 10 second countdown. So hopefully we'll get a lot of participation with that, with how much we had for the tournament this year. And go! Ah, descendants of Erdrick. We're we're back. <laughs> see what starting items we get. Start with gold, not a great gold double gold, okay. I was gonna say that wasn't a great gold roll, but two golds will do it. We have no spells and only nine strength, 33 agility. We have a shot to take this gold to a town. We definitely have to save with 1300 gold. Ugh, swamp tiles outside. How many fairy waters can we buy with 1308 gold, Bianca? <laughs> Tempt not the fates. We are tempting all of the fates. It's a cave, but we can't spend our gold in a cave. There's Metal Scorpion, so Zone Zero is going to be to the south. Don't look like much there. Mm, this could be the top of the map. We are running from everything so far. 33 agility helping us out. We're looking for a town to spend this gold. Thirty-four fairy waters. Thank you, Bianca. <laughs> this doesn't go anywhere. I wonder if that's Swamp Cave. Ooh, we're gonna take damage going across here. Or a large shield in 14 fairy waters. Ugh. I bet that is Swamp Cave. We're gonna die. 
So let's reset out of that. I wonder if we are on a small island and there's nothing here besides Swamp Cave to take us off. So now we have to check this cave and confirm. I can get there without dying, but we're gonna take damage. It is Swamp South, confirmed. Okay. So now we'll see if this backs into Garenham. That would be our bet here to use this gold. I think I'll reset. Just because I don't have any experience? Question is, do we keep pushing through Swamp Cave? I'm gonna try at least one other time. We could also see if the swamps to the east there open up. I'm assuming that it just dead ends, but we don't know that. Alright. Star Wyverns say no to Swamp Cave. This does open up to the east. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. So I'm gonna try to keep the gold, at least for a moment. I mean, that's a lot of gold. We're gonna try to get at least a level or two. If we learn hurt more, then we can try to get through Swamp Cave and take out the Star Wyverns that way. Or we get a big boost of agility. Um, when we do get through Swamp Cave, if it does back into Garenham, we could always, you know, reset for the gold entirely. But if we think that's valuable, but get some strength here, we'll be on our way up and out of here anyways. 36 power? <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, that's like basically finding Erdrick's sword right there. So there was four minutes at the beginning that we didn't need to waste do doing all that, trying to get to a town, because we just got 36 power at level two. Ah! How much are we gonna get at level three? Six more. Six, seven, three, 11. Repel. Interesting. Alright, it looks like we're defense breaking scorpions. We do have a lot of agility. In addition to all this strength. Not thrilled about taking down poltergeists. Yeah, we'd rather have drolls, metal scorpions that were over here. This might be the same zone as the ghosts as well. Poltergeists have hurt, we're not concerned. Level 5. Three, four, five, six, heal. Okay. We have a useful spell. Do we still get a few levels or do we try to rush Swamp Cave again? I think I get a few levels still. Because 
This zone isn't bad. We'll get level uh, six pretty quick. And level seven, not too bad either. We have to stay north. This does look like a north-south set of zones. Now we get no encounters. No encounters. It's supposed to be one in eight encounter rate on the hill tiles. That ain't happening tonight. Ultra guys have heal, that's annoying. Heal and hurt. So even though we got a lot of power at the beginning, this could be a long seed to finish because of how isolated we are. There's gonna be a lot of walking and exploring and every death that we take is gonna take us back here to the other side of Swamp Cave. Once we learn the spell of outside, we'll be able to just cast it and go right through Swamp Cave, but until then, we're gonna be having to walk through just to get anywhere. So that maybe that's another thought, like, grind, even if I go up to like level eight, to try to get outside. That way I can skip the Star Wyverns in Swamp Cave. And with the heal spell and the break defense breaking most of these enemies, I am preserving my gold still. 15323, big boost in MP. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang out here, keep getting levels until we get something that's able to be worthwhile to push out with. I can continue to heal my HP. Haven't found any enemies with uh, disastrous abilities yet, knock on wood. When I run out of MP, I'll go into the castle and refill without taking a death and not losing half of my gold. Undoes the speed hack makes it to where outside sends you back to whichever entry you took. Aha! Instead, yeah, instead, kind of like what it does in Stair Shuffle. So that, Bianca, that's what happens with uh, the Stair Shuffle flag is on. When you cast outside, um, you go into Swamp Cave, you cast outside, it doesn't take you out the north end, it just takes you out whichever end you entered. So you have that kind of universal. Yeah, that could be something. Yeah, definitely. Definitely building that gold. I'm ready to be patient here for a little while and not throw myself at Swamp Cave. And I'm almost certain knowing the playstyle of one of my opponents pretty well, uh, Diabetes II, Diabetes is probably doing very similar. He's very patient with uh, taking a grind and knowing what the seed is giving him and not exploring wildly and taking chances. <laughs> Let's see, Bianca. 15, 26, uh, 34, no, yeah, 3,300. <laughs> yeah, 3,300, so we'll have like 1,500, 2,000 experience at that time. We'll be at level 9, level 10 on Metal Scorpions. <laughs> This Poltergeist, if it sticks around, will be level 7. If Nightbot wants to cooperate, um, it'll show us our experience threshold soon. 5464, four, so not much help there. We're going to level 8. I'm not going to mess around on here and try to find another zone. This zone is fine. Once we start to get to pursuing level 9 and 10, it becomes significantly less fine. If I hadn't gotten so much power and started with so much agility and gotten heal where I could just hang out here and kill stuff as long as I want, um, I pr may have tried to push around now, 
but I'm sitting fine. I have no reason to push until I have the ability to confidently get through or we start to get up to like level 9, level 10. <laughs> but I'll, I'll hang out here for another couple minutes and take level 8, even though I prefer to get more drolls and metal scorpions than drakeys. Only 100 away from level 8. Poltergeists are liking to run. bother with the Drakeys. I think I'm gonna run from the Poltergeist as well and just take Metal Scorpions and Drolls. There's our first excellent move. Yeah, I've got them memorized as well. I was just wondering why Nightbot didn't uh, chime in. Before I uh, queued up the stream, I did make sure that my automatic timed uh, nightbot messages were set up to go, but then none of them were, were running yet. Now Nightbot's awake. Nightbot's still getting back into the swing of things as well. Now we're a Drakey away from the level, but we'll take a Metal Scorpion for level 8. We get 1, 3, 8, 2. No more spells. Hmm. Now we're starting to get into the area where I start to question a little bit of whether I'm sticking around here a little bit too long, but I'm not ready to bail just yet. This is going to be a longer level to get, especially if I keep getting poltergeists. These are the guys we want. We want all the metal scorpions. Metal scorpions are great here. Drolls are okay. Poltergeists are kind of a waste of time. Drakeys are a complete waste of time. I don't want to cast Repel because I'll be repelling all of these enemies. <laughs> playing some Tecmo Super Bowl this week. Off stream. A couple of league games, a couple of casual games. I'm sitting at 5 and 4 in the RTL League, which is the league that last season I didn't win a single game. I went 0 and 16. Now I'm sitting at 5 and 4. I'll, I'll certainly take that. I think I've gotten lucky in a couple of games, but... I've also been in position to take advantage of the luck and not uh, make silly mistakes. So it feels like I'm improving in Tecmo Super Bowl. I played a practice game before we started the Dragon Warrior race offline, and I won it in overtime, although he took a risk at the end of the game to close it out, and he really should have won in the end of regulation. But he opted to not kick a field goal, and... It turned over, but we were evenly matched. It was, a, it was a pretty good game. He was the Phoenix Cardinals, and I was the Cleveland Browns. So I got some experience playing with the Browns. I haven't played with them very much. I've got an experience with a, most of the Tecmo teams. There's a couple that I'm still not super comfortable with, the Browns being one of them.
I'm not getting great encounters, so I'll keep swinging on these poltergeists, especially now that I'm one-shotting them basically every time. Come on, Metal Scorpions, where are you? Not a metal scorpion, sir. We want metal scorps. Metal scorps. Oh, they have. They ambush. <laughs> he ambushed us. He cast sleep and then he ran away. That's like. That's the most Drakey thing to do, isn't it? Heal after this fight. I mentioned, uh, the 2024 ROM. Awesome! I'm glad you're having fun with that, Bianca. Run fail on a Drakey. Okay, here's a droll, at least. We could get like three metal scorpions after this. That would be great. I think even two metal scorpions and one droll will get us the level. Instead, we get another poltergeist. The worst. Oh, 70 to nothing on the falcons. That sounds close to uh, reality this season, the Saints have been playing really well. They crushed it, I know, their first two weeks. My poor dolphins are in disarray already. Tua getting his head bashed in. But I'll probably still watch them on Monday night. Okay, next enemy that's not a Drakey. Droll is not a Drakey. For level 9. Outside would be great. Hurt more would be okay. Heal more would be okay as well. Oh, we get neither of those. What's our max HP now? We're up to 62. Okay. I think it's time to go. We're not going to sit here for another 500 experience. So here's what I'm going to do with 2,000 gold, which is a half plate and a large shield. We're going to get our oh, look 82 MP. Wow. We're going to do that. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to save. Save all this gold that I've piled up. And try to make it through Swamp Cave and see if we can get to a town. It might back into Garenham. That would be ideal. Oh no, they got hit with injuries last week. Such a big variable in football. Heal and repel. We're gonna get through without any encounters, aren't we? Yeah, just breeze right through. Doesn't back into Garenham. How am I doing on a Druid Lord? More importantly, how is a Druid Lord doing on me? Nice two shot. Even if I took three swings, I'd be good there. Yikes. We're gonna go this way. 
Step away from the armor knight. A lot of swamp tiles. I'll keep repel off. Get another cave. We get a wolf lord. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to run with that dodge and not being at full HP. Okay, let's check this cave. Haven't seen any towns yet. Ugh, it's just a rainbow drop. We don't need that anytime soon. <gasps> We've got a town! And it's a real town. It's Breconary. Yay! With 2,200 gold, what can we buy? Um, this shop stinks. I think I'm gonna spend a little money on chainmail. And we're going to dodge the NPC. <sighs> Dude, out of my way. Okay, that was annoying. We're gonna stop. I don't need to suck up on herbs yet, but I am going to get a dragon scale. I want to still preserve as much of my gold as possible. Don't need herbs. <laughs> and I don't need fairy waters, Bianca, so we know north end of swamp is somewhere over there. And Breck is somewhere over there. <gasps> we have a second town! We have a skeleton! Who's running from us? <laughs> Cantlin! Got two weapon shops to decide from. Um, okay. Definitely getting a large shield. Hand axe is most likely what we're gonna do. <laughs> Bianca demands fairy water strats. Yep, okay. So back at the top shop, we're going to grab that hand axe, and then that is our gear from these two shops that we're gonna run with. Okay. I guess I will suck up on herbs. It's probably the only time I'll need to do this in the seed, so I'll only get five. Soon that'll get another one in a chest somewhere along the way. Save three seconds. Update my map at the meantime. I think that was five. Okay. Yeah, no broadsword. I, I was looking forward to a broadsword, but at the same time, if I got a large shield, I wouldn't be able to afford a broadsword, and I'd rather have a bit more defense to defense break some more of these enemies. When you have a certain amount of offense, getting more defense can be valuable because then you're defense breaking more. And the golem says, you're done over here, go home. And I'll say, okay. There was a zone with a Wraith Knight at the top of the map here at home. I'm going to see if I can pick out that zone again. Is there, you know what? I haven't been to the northeast. Did I miss that on my first pass? I might have. <laughs> uh, find out in a minute, but we are liking these druid lords. Felt like we were near the top of the map, so this might be nothing. I'm hoping it's nothing. I didn't miss something for 27 minutes. 
stone man. Let's heal back up to maximum. Yep, okay. Didn't miss anything. Question is, are those stone men in this zone? With the Druid Lord. Found the Wraith Knights. Ooh, they have sleep. Not so much fun anymore. If we're too shoddy, then we could continue to take a chance, especially since we're not preserving our gold. I think I hang out here with the Wraith Knights and Druid Lords and see what else is going on. Like poltergeists, okay. Ouch! Blue dragons! Run! No, okay. Um... Do I go back there? Or do I go through Swamp Cave? And take one of the zones there with wolf lords and druid lords and such. I think we're gonna get level 10 up here and just risk it with the blue dragons. Take down as many druid lords and uh, sleepy wraith knights as we can. Keep our HP at maximum. 200 away from level 10. Hopefully we get some more help at level 10. Hurt more would be fantastic. Um, southwest is where we found Swamp Cave, and then there's nothing there, and it just kind of loops around. Um, there's a bridge, and it connects, it looks like. It just loops around and connects in the swamp tiles. Underneath Swamp Cave. I'm 94. 8% certain I've cleared that this is just a small island by itself. But I have been known to get map monstered before, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Nice run from the blue dragon. Ooh, there's wolf lords here as well. Cool. Good zone. And we are defense breaking, though, with our large shield. One more enemy that's not a poltergeist. <laughs> or a blue dragon. So I can't kill them. Okay, we survived that. I hope to get if if I have I wanna have time to mess around with some of his seeds. Yeah. I saw that he mentioned that there was one that was, had something really rare that happened. That sounds intriguing. The other, the other update is Artorius and I are planning on starting up the co-op seeds again. We're planning on doing that Friday evenings. For the most part. 67211 Sleep and Return. Okay, that's the one you're referencing. Trying to see if I can cheat up on a stone man. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with that. Our banter and BS. And then, yeah, so... His Zelda tournament is long over with. The Dragon Warrior tournament that we're, we're both in is long over with. I'm done getting married and being on vacation. My job is slowing down a little bit. It was pretty intense summer. So we've... Uh, Planning on starting that up again starting next Friday. Oh, I was going to 
Because I'll try the Star Wyvern. I should three or four shot it. Thanks, Bianca. Appreciate it. It was just a fant fantastic time. The, the wedding and the honeymoon was everything that we had hoped for. It was fantastic. And now we're we're back home, we're back to work, and she gets sick. <laughs> She's been under the weather in the last couple of days. Fortunately, it happened now, rather than when we were, you know, during wedding and honeymoon, but still. Not fun to come down with something. It's a good heal. Aha! Another town! Let's try to sleep the green dragon. Probably should have checked the swamp spike tile in case it's a green dragon or a stone man, something we can sleep and chop down. Green dragon stays asleep. Ah, bonk bonk. Two towns. Okay, Hawksness, we're gonna hold on you for a moment. We're gonna check out this other town. Town of Coal, baby. So we still don't have keys. Oops, there are no stairs there. <sighs> Fairy flute. There are golems out in the wild. Cole does have a broadsword. Okay, so... Cole... Ox... I did see the rainbow drop out there. It's the only other cave I've seen. Let's see what's in Hawksness. Something we can take down. Yeah! Vanilla flute and coal comes through for us today. This hawks in this zone stinks. Look at all these weak enemies. That's not going to be a place to grind. But we're interested in the enemy here on the spike. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. I don't know that reference, Bianca. Enlight enlighten me on that reference. I might have a shot. Well, we're close to broadsword money. Let's hold this thought. Let's try to get broadsword money. The Room. Best movie ever. I'm not familiar with The Room. Okay, here's some wolf lore. I'll just see what that one's about. We're gonna get a little more gold and the next level. I'm thinking here we'll get level 11. And we'll get enough gold for the uh, broadsword. Druid Lord likes to heal, huh? Ah, Citizen Kane of bad movies. So it's a bad movie, but it's so bad it's good and has an unintended entertainment value. Accidentally hilarious, that's the perfect way to say it. I like that stuff. Strewn Lords with heal are a little annoying. I like stuff that's funny that's not supposed to be funny. Feels like the same zone north of Tantagel. Come on, Blue Dragon, don't do it. I have exactly enough gold. Phew. Okay, we have exactly enough gold for a broadsword. We didn't get the level, but I want to take this gold to coal if I can. I know there's armor knights out here somewhere. This guy could get us a level if he sticks around. There's one. 
It's got weak breath. There's two. We need to deal three damage. Fail. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta take my shot. We got it. Yes. Whew. Lucky. So we get level 11, which gives us six, seven, two, one. Hurt and radiant. Garbage spells. That was an interesting metal slime fight. Very happy that I didn't take the death there and lose. Oh gosh. Okay. Whew. Just trying to take this gold to coal. We can sleep you. Yeah, we haven't seen heal more or hurt more. We're gonna get broadsword and then throw ourselves at the uh, Axe Knight in Hawksness. We'll repel all the junk in the Hawksness zone. Okay, Hawksness. What do you have for us? Can we survive the Axe Knight? Okay, we don't get ambushed. That's the first step. Ooh, that was a heavy hit. We're not gonna get it, are we? <gasps> we got it! On 192425. All that for the token. Do we try to do that again? Is this our weird little grind? Are we gonna try to three shot axe knights here? I like it better than stone men. As long as we don't get ambushed and we don't low roll, we've got this. And if we take a death, then we'll just go back home. We've spent all the gold that we wanted to spend. And we will check out the spike and swamp cave on the way back here next time. Okay, 18 and 16 offsetting low rolls. 23, not quite as much fun. Still three shot it though. Thank you, broadsword. Wow, just imagine. Not taking the death to either the blue dragon or the metal slimes on the way here to get back to Cole to get the broadsword. I feel like I got lucky there. That 30 is a heavy hit. I'm... Oh, he's got heal more. I don't know why I'm healing because he's just going to swing and we're going to die. We need to run. Seems like a low percentage heal more. We don't, of course, we don't have Stop Spell. We have Radiant. We have Hurt. We have Return. We do not have Stop Spell. Or Heal More. Or Hurt More. Ugh, another 30. Yeah, that one's not gonna do it either. We got lucky on our first couple of Axe Knights. So we exploring is going to be critical because we need keys. We need to dive caves. Exploration is going to be critical. Going to repel out of here. Head back through Swamp Cave. This time I'm going to check the spike. 
the green dragon would be a better grind than an Axe Knight right now. Golem is interesting. One of them is the level. I think I think we're gonna waste time on this. We're gonna give this a shot. Oh, crit is just what we ordered. It was a low crit. <gasps> Double crits! Double crits! Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that? They were both low crits, but two crits in a row. 0, 4, 42, 4, and hurt more. Okay. So now... Oh, I can't rescue the princess because I don't have keys. Dang, I was like, hey, let's rescue the princess. <laughs> okay, so... I'm try to heal up out of this. Okay, we're good there. And he wakes up. Ooh, and hits us for 43. This feels like not a good idea. Let's just try to take one more before coming out of here. So I've hit him for two turns. I have enough time invested in this, I kind of want to see if I can finish him off. We'll risk it on 44. Ah, oh, first turn, wake up again. He only hit us for 22, though. Uh, let's swing. We'll take all the swings we can get. Had to, because he's waking up after the heal and then the... Yeah. Okay. The first fight of these was really fun. I'm gonna double heal here so I'm out of his range to kill. He stays asleep, alright. And he stays asleep. Low swing, he's still asleep. Alright. We're done messing around with golems. Let's get out of here. Go through the north side and continue our exploration. Hey, we have hurt more. Pow! Now we don't mind seeing those armored knights uh, near Hawksness. Make sure all of these mountains kind of end and there's nothing more this way. Just hurt more you, sir. Oh, and I was thinking to myself, if it doesn't one shot and take down the Axe Knight, he's going to heal more down and it's going to be annoying, but he didn't heal more. Seems like it's a low percentage on the heal more, so I would have seen it in one of the earlier fights that I had with them. Okay, so that does close off. Haven't been down here. That separates. Heal up. A lot of swamp down here. This is a different path. So that goes like that. Map isn't quite in line where things are, but I've got the general idea. Let's heal through all this, this big swamp. That just loops around. We're out of the swamp tiles now. Sleep and run. Finding Remolder for keys would be huge. 
grave or mountain caves would be good as well. Lots of checks there. Or stone. Oh, wizard. Wizard's a nice little enemy to take at this point. 120 experience. <laughs> Unnecessary crit. Nice run from the red dragon. the bottom of the map. Okay. Uh, we're almost out of MP and I want to find what I'm looking for before I die. This is going to be one of the top. Yeah, okay. So we've come out by Breck and Catlin. Let's heal up in Breck. Unless there's something I missed. In between the north path and south path here, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Do have a little bit unmarked to the north on this path to Brecon So I'm gonna come back out this way, go north, make sure that there's nothing north. This is Rainbow Drop Cave, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Rainbow Drop Cave. Does extend north. All right. I had a feeling seeing the bottom of the map over there. We'll take this one. It's going to get us close to level 13. Well, it is going to get us to level 13. Very good. Maths. 15 power. 36 HP. Stop spelling outside. Well, going through Swamp Cave now will be faster. And this is either Garen Ham or Remolder. We are definitely rooting for Remolder. Um, that sucked. Wow, I was lucky to get out of that one alive. Heal up. Oof. Also makes me feel good about not finding this sooner because those green dragons could have wiped us out before having all of the all of this HP to withstand the DL2 breath. Not even more than that. Yeah, look at that. We're at Death Necklace HP. It's Garenham. Alright, stock up on herbs. See if I can buy more defense here. I don't think I have a half plate yet. Oh. Okay, there's the rest of my herbs. I did buy the four or five of them in Cantlin now, I remember. Okay, we have chain mail at least. But we have no keys. So Garenham's gonna have to wait until we find keys. This is a race to Remolder, guys. Um, can I outpace Red Dragon? Find out. 32 is good. 39 is not good. Two more swings should get him. All right. 
cast a bunch of heals. I'm gonna go back and stay at the inn in Garenham. I was like, my MP is okay, but eh. Not so much against all these nasties out here. This stone man I will take down, because it's only gonna take a couple of turns. Good. Heal up so we don't get blasted with DL2 breath from a green dragon. Okay. Get all of our MP back and continue exploration. strength. Oh man, we're at we're at go at level 13. I'm just gonna fight this stuff because it's faster to defeat it than to run from it, but jeez. Maybe we're done needing to grind. We'll get level 14 at least, but even our agility is good. We just need to find all the stuff. How are we at go level before Finding keys. <laughs> Critter wizard. It's the east coast. This guy I'm just gonna sleep and run from. We'll fight something more valuable. Okay, so this is cut off. One shot on the DL2 breathing green. I'll one shot the Magi Wyvern. Easy experience. We have got to continue exploration now. One shot the Axe Knight. There's a cave. It is accessible from here. Mountain! All right. Five chests to check in here. Could find a loose key before we find Remalder. And we do know outside now. <laughs> There's one step towards our fairy water strats, Bianca. <laughs> That's no good. Two chests up here. There's Erdrick's armor. That is very good. We are definitely not afraid of the green dragons now. Erdrick's armor reduces the damage from the DL2 breath from 65 to 72 range down to 42 to 48. 0172 and heal more. There's heal more. Level 14. Thankfully, we didn't need to grind to level 16 just for heal more. So we are 1000% go. We need the sword, the harp, and the harp trading cave and Sharlock. So we're still kind of looking for stuff here. Empty. Outside. Okay, that just dead ends. Finish clearing up here. Yeah, look at that, Bianca. From, what, level 9? We only had heal and repel. And now at level 14, we have everything. All those spells came in those middle levels. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Here's Remalder. Now we have keys. Let's go the right way for keys. <laughs> hey, then we've got keys. 
So somewhere up here is Sharlock and Rim. We have a healing town right next to Sharlock, so that's good. Lost count on my keys. Okay, that's six. One chest, whoops, one chest to check in here. We don't need to check the shop. I'll stay at the inn just because I'm here. Then we need to find, we need to look at, oh, there's the silver harp. Um, let's go home, check the treasury, check underneath, because the harp cave could be underneath now. Either Tantagel or Garenham. We're just looking for Erdrick's sword and the harp trade-in at this point. All of a sudden, that went very fast. <laughs> Thanks for the key back. There could be coordinates as well. Could be coordinates as well. Coordinates would be 50-50 death necklace... Erdrick's sword at this point. Okay, it's not the harp trading cave. It's stone's cave. One free chest. Just a dragon scale. Don't want that. Doesn't give us any information. So let's now go put repel on. Starters. I'm going to check Garenham first because I am still looking for the harp trade-in cave. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go back to Garenham, which has not only a cave in the back, but three treasure chests to see. drop cave don't need that okay we go up this bridge and then north I think it's just right over here to the east North? Nope. It's here and then up. Okay. That makes more sense. But where was Garenham then? Garenham? Oh, here's a cave. Wait a minute. Get out of my way, Stone Man. Here's the Harp Trade-In Cave. I know where Garenham was. Garenham was, like, uh, east of Mountain before you come all the way up here. Yeah, I went too far north, back up towards Remalder and Sharlock. I haven't... My map is a mess. It's generally... I know, like, what corner of the map it's on. But I didn't have it well-defined that it was on a different piece going east. And my memory stinks. <laughs> Sometimes it's a wonder I can play this game at all. <laughs> so we're gonna go back south. Somewhere over here to the east. It was along like a bottom coast. Along that bottom coast by, uh... Brackenary. Cantlin. Yeah, like over here. Over this bridge. Yeah, okay. Okay. Everything's under control. 
that we're gonna run fail to this armor knight. Got three chests back here and then either tablet cave or grave. Definitely hoping for grave so we can get that out of the way and have a better chance of finding Erdrick's sword. Have a torch? I don't. Can use a fairy water. Ooh, fighter's ring. We'll always take two more attack power. Oops, there's no one there. Oh yeah, we needed the stones too. We didn't have the stones. For some reason I thought I had the stones. Now we have the stones. Now we're just looking for the sword. Good thing I didn't blunder that. Under here, we're hoping for Grave. No, it's Tablet. There is one chest to check. So... I have to think about what I want to do if the sword is not under here. I want to dive Sherlock and skip Grave altogether? That's a bit scary, but I also have no idea where Grave is. And, and we're at Go level. So, I do need to come back down and get the rainbow drop. Then I'm going to go back up to Sharlock and dive and see what happens. Okay, this is rainbow drop cave. If the death necklace is even down there, I'll be at 122 attack power. Ooh, this is some interesting stuff to think about. I could kind of start to take enemies and think about getting another level and think about the possibility of... If Death Necklace is in Sherlock, but Sword is not, I have 112 attack power right now. With the Death Necklace, I would be at 122. If I get another level and get more strength and could be at Fairy Water strat time. Of course, Fairy Waters are in the opposite direction of where I'm walking. We're gonna just kind of count on sword being down here because that would be the path of least resistance to finishing. So otherwise we'd have to be fighting, get 1500 experience for the level and then hope that the level gives more strength and or MP and it's already given us a lot of strength. Drop that rainbow. Oops. That's what I get for trying to drink water at that point. This is going to be interesting, isn't it, Bianca? Um, yeah. We're going to play this like we're going to finish. Like we're going to come down here, get the sword, like, sword and death necklace is really what we need. Well, no, because with the sword, we'll be fine. I'm overthinking this. If both sword and death necklace are down here, it'd be massive overkill on the dragon lord. Also makes it tempting to maybe check judges table first. Oops. I do have a full 13 heal mores at this point if I don't use any MP. I 
I think we're going straight to the bottom. Go with the highest probability, path of least resistance. We're gonna go straight to the bottom of Sherlock, check the chest in the treasury, and hope that Erdrick Sword is down there waiting for us. So far, no trouble in Sherlock. Green Dragon is the scariest enemy with its DL2 breath. But we're pretty good on agility. I forget exactly what it's at, but I think it's either high 70s or in the 80s. I think it's in the 80s. The way that we're running from Blue Dragons and Stone Men, it feels like it's in the 80s. Across the straightaway. We're already in the basement. Ambushed by a Star Wyvern doesn't feel like 80-something agility. Or run blocked by a Star Wyvern, but again, yeah, rather have it be this than the Green Dragon. <laughs> These Star Wyverns have some extra agility tonight, huh? Look at that! Two run fails! Useless. 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 Oh no. Alright. It's in Judge's table. We're happy. If both Death Necklace and Erdrick's sword are in Grave, and we need to go back out and wander for Grave, and I just dove Sherlock without uh, gaining any experience along the way, that's gonna be sad. Backwards through the straightaway. <laughs> Down the U the wrong way. Yay, we ran from that Star Wyvern. <laughs> Ambushed by this one. These Star Wyverns are funny. Alright. Down for sore. Here we go. We still have coordinates to worry about. Oh, this was a bad choice. That was a bad choice because I forgot we still haven't checked coordinates. So we have coordinates and grave outstanding. Still kind of cool aggressive play to do that, but did not work out this time. You play to win the game, right, Herm? <laughs> Rudy's probably racing uh, Toe Jam and Earl right now. He's probably... It's 9.30 Eastern. He's probably done racing Toe Jam and Earl. There's the Rainbow Drop Cave. This one. Do we have coordinates? Do twenty five north forty two east. Okay. So, with this map, we definitely need... Definitely need Gwalen. We need to find Grave. Gosh. Alright, I need cor- let's- let's- forget it, let's do coordinates. 
We're gonna do coordinates. Because it's gonna be one of the two, death necklace or sword. And I can... We just pound through these guys, we don't need to bother with the flute. Got heal more now. Cuz... Oh, we need four of them for the level. Get the level and see if we get enough resources to make uh, Death Necklace and Fairy Waters viable. So then if the coordinates are Death Necklace, then, then we're done and we don't have to mess around with Grave. I'm just really trying to not wander the map for Grave. It's probably just west of Coal. That whole series of... Uh, land that I didn't continue exploring. We're about a third of the way, we're a little over a third of the way to organic silver shield money, Bianca. <laughs> Let's get excited about that. Just talking about you. I pulled I pulled a Herm Edwards. I took a big gamble and played to win the game. As you can see, I have not won the game yet. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm doing well. First couple of days back at work were a struggle, but uh 2203, that's not the level I was hoping for. But it's good to have a nice weekend. It's good to be playing some Dragon Warrior. Two more agility, we can run from Star Wyverns now. <laughs> Herm's still proud. You play to win the game, absolutely. Reality is I forgot about coordinates because I'm rusty. I haven't played Dragon Warrior in three weeks. And leading up to my time away, I was focused on learning the Dragon Warrior 2 speedrun, so a lot of that is in my head. It's 50-50 sword or death necklace. There's our stats. We're at 114 attack power right now. So with death necklace, we would get up to 124. We've got 13 heal mores. Could load up on fairy waters, but I think we'd only have, what, four of them? Because we already have the flute, and now we're going to have Gwalen's love, and we would have the death necklace. This could get some doubles, though, but... Woof. 124 attack power, any way you cut it. It's a little scary. Averaging nines the whole way. Like, ten swings doesn't even get you to a hundred on the Dragon Lord. The sword is definitely not in Sherlock. We have exhausted every chest in Sherlock. That was my play. 41... 15. Okay, so... going to be in the direction of where I haven't explored yet anyways. So I might find Grave as well. I haven't seen Grave. I was trying to skip Grave and dive Sherlock.
Cave is not up there. These guys have DL2 breath. They're the scariest enemy. We had ghost stats at level 13, and here's Grave. Let's see the sword at the top, right? No? There's our third curse belt, confirming coordinates. <laughs> oh, death necklace. Okay, so that confirms coordinates is the sword. So we're done in here. And let's see where we're at again. The, I went the wrong direction. Well, I found the death necklace, but... Um, so we need to go... This is where we need to go. Southeast. Right? No, 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 because that's going to take us more north. Oh my gosh, I'm so... I'm so rusty. So we're looking for... Yeah. So we need to go like way north. And we're almost correct on the east-west. One, two, three. So we're on this column and then way north. Bonk. <laughs> wonder if it's up by Sherlock and all that. Like, west of Sherlock. Oh, I was... I was all discombobulated on the coordinates. Ugh. Might be near the top row. see where the top row is. 30 and 51, so 5 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sword! Ringo! Let's, let's finish this. <laughs> oh, how did I get so backwards on the coordinates, Bianca? Spatial awareness is definitely off tonight. And I forgot about the stones, and I forgot about the coordinates. I fell backwards into grave going the wrong way <laughs> for the coordinates. Unfortunately, it was death necklace, so it didn't reward me. It didn't reward me. That would be awesome if death necklace and sword were flipped. That would have been... That would have been a happy accident for sure. Captain Sherlock went well besides the Star Wyverns at the bottom. Ugh. Miss Menu. That was annoying. Oh, 
Okay. Diving Charmok. Oh, definitely. Yeah. We're in great shape to finish now. Got 134 attack power, 13 heal mores, and the death necklace. I'll use the death necklace to speed up the fight, but it's not necessary. We could finish with 13 heal mores and 134 attack power, even 12 heal mores. 11 starts to get a little sketch. You need to have some fortune in, in your favor. Zigzag. Basement three. More stone men. straight away back in the basement want some torches and gold and curse belts <laughs> this is the place to find it if there's a key and an herb in there as well Fighter's ring in here? Did I, did I get it in uh, Garenham or something like that? I think I got it in Garenham. And maybe I did get it in here, so I feel like I forgot about that as well. Okay, our spike is a stone man. Yeah, that's the thing of the, the fighter's ring was in Garenham. Hopefully three shot him. Yep, cool. We'll just preemptively throw on the death necklace. Boom. Press B. Thou art a fool. Thank you, sir. Chop you down. I'm gonna not play the herb game. There we go. So as long as we stay above DL2's attack range, in case he ambushes us, which he doesn't do anyways. 19. to practice with my DL2 math. 44. on the button.
was that 140? Oof. One sixty. There we go. Back home. Of course, we'll need to wait for Gwalen. Thanks for the GG, Bianca. She's so happy. Final input, 1 hour, 28 minutes, 31 seconds. Let's take a peek and see how we finished in the race. We finished third. That that sounds about right. Ooh, Diabetes crushed it, as I kind of expected. And I say Diabetes would do really well in a, in a seed like this, being patient with the early grind instead of throwing himself at Swamp Cave. So, Diabetes took me by 17 and a half minutes. Uh, the Sherlock Dive probably cost me about 10. So, I would have still been behind Diabetes. And Cyrano the Ice Fairy finished uh, 1 hour and 12 minutes. GG's. So we finished third out of four. Nimenva is still going. Full clear to the map. <laughs> comment until the end. Oh, let's drop the comment. Who cares? Uh, let's see. So my comment in the race room is... I dove Sherlock for his sword before realizing I forgot about coordinates. Would have still finished third. GG, guys. <laughs> and Nim just finished two minutes behind me. Woo, that was an interesting one. Uh, the early start and getting roadblocked by um, Swamp Cave was interesting. Although, after we f later found out that Swamp Cave actually had a pretty soft enemy set, except for the Star Wyvern that was killing us. Um, yeah, we kind of found the southeast corner. Like, we, we went straight through and then we went southeast and circled back up to Breconary and Cantlin on the exploration which was unnecessary that cost a little bit of time we were late to keys kind of um I will not be playing another seed I'm kind of I'm kind of tired <laughs> I, I was I was maybe thinking of it in my head as a possibility especially if this one was fast but this one, no, this one drained my brain. 
I'm gonna be calling it a night here. We'll find a good raid target for one of our friends. Um, I am planning on doing the, the weekly standard race tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Might also putz around during the day, but want to catch up on some cleaning at home and hang out with Mrs. Destiny. So we knocked off our first Dragon Warrior seed in three weeks. It, it, uh, it went. <laughs> on our friend Diabetes. He's doing a recap, it looks like. Um, going over the map, he usually spends some time revisiting the seed. We raid over to Diabetes the second. This new raid function of Twitch sucks. <laughs> okay. Raid activated. We'll see you over there. I'll hang out for just a minute and then gonna head to bed. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Good to see you, Bianca. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate it. Catch you tomorrow. Yeah, it might bounce around sometime during the day, but definitely see you at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern for the standard race. Have a good night.